Hello creators, in this video, I'm going to show you how to effortlessly create personalized print-on-demand products in bulk in just a few clicks with My Designs. Let's get started. All right, so I'm over here on the My Designs dashboard page in our demo account. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to the listings page. It's really where all the magic happens. And up here you can see that I'm under a collection, which is basically a folder where you can store designs. Uh, it's personalization and monogram mugs. So I'm gonna create personalized mugs in bulk today to kind of show you how easy this is getting with my designs. Uh, so I really need some designs to start with, or I could use our AI features down here, such as Canvas or Dream AI to generate graphics, add text and over overlays to them and whatnot. But I already have some monograms that I got from Creative Fabrica here. So I'm not gonna upload all of these, but I think about 10 of these would be a good example. So let me move this over to the other screen. I'm gonna click the upload button here, upload files. And now I'm gonna grab 10 of these uh, from this folder here and just drag and drop them and just click upload all. Now that'll take a few seconds here to upload. When that's done, we'll, uh, res we'll resume. All right, so these are uploaded now. You can see I got A through J here. These are just monograms, usually like someone's first initial, could be a family's first initial, like a last name initial. And there's so many different ways these can be personalized. Has this little uh, section here for custom text, which I'm gonna show you is so good with my design. So, First things first, let's select all 10 of these. You can see 10 out of 10 selected. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to our new Canvas system. This isn't perfect yet. There may be a few bugs you encounter, but we're actively working on them, so they should be resolved in no time. But I'm gonna go to Templates, and I'm just gonna go with the 11 ounce white mug templates, one of our products from our Print On Demand catalog. I'll minimize that to kind of get it out of the way so you can see the print area here. You see this is the side of the mug that this design will be printed on. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up to add listing file because we already uploaded this to the listings page and I'm gonna click add to all. And you see that's obviously way too big so let's transform it. I'm gonna make it fit but it's still too big so I'm gonna move it over here and we'll just make it quite a bit smaller to where it fits in here but doesn't take up too much space. I don't want it to be too big so I think that's about right. So I'm gonna put that here and now you can see on these other ones you can see a preview it's not right so if I click this right click on it and click sync, it will apply that setting to all the listings, all 10 of these listings, which is really nice. Now we're not done yet, obviously we wanna duplicate this, so it's printed on both sides of the mug. So I'm gonna control C, control V, and then grab that other one, move it over. Let's make sure it's lined up the exact same. Right there looks perfect. All right, so now again, I wanna right click on this one and sync. You can see that what I referred to about bugs, there's a little bug here, so I'm gonna do it again, right click sync. Looks like that fixed it. So I can preview these, everything looks good. Now here's where it gets really interesting, what's really powerful with my designs in this new canvas editor. I can come up to the text options here and go add text. I'm gonna minimize that to make more space. Let's put this here, make sure it kind of fits the full area. I'm gonna change this probably to a different font. Yeah, let's go with this one, that looks good. So I'm gonna write your text here because this is what we're going to let the customer on Etsy personalize this particular mug with. So they could get creative. It could be their family's last name. It could be a friend's name, like their first initials. So it could be starts with a J and you put their name here. It's really, there's a lot of options you can, you can do here. So we're going to just kind of play around with that. I'm going to make the text just a bit bigger. Uh, maybe we'll go 100. Yeah, I think that'll do. All right. And now I'm going to select that text box and just right click sync. Now you can see that that has applied this to all of the listings. Now we need to do that one more time. So let me go back. Again, I'm gonna copy paste and just move that other text box over. Let's make so I can see this a little better. And that should do right there. So now let's right click this one, click sync. And we wanna preview these real quick. You can see that each of these have the your text here. That way we're printing on both sides of the mug. And that is done. And what's really good and why we're doing this is because if I create this design in our Canvas editor and save it as an editable design, I can go publish that as a personalized product to Etsy. And when the customer purchases this product, gives you the information they want personalized, it'll pop right up on the orders page of my designs. You open it up, you add the personalization to it, you click approve, it creates a new print file, creates a new mockup for you to so preview if you want. Then you submit that to the printer and it's basically fully automated. So that is why we do this. Now you'll be able to do this in bulk with our new Canvas editor and some of our AI listing features. It just makes the whole process so much easier. So with that being said, let's move forward. So all 10 of these are ready to go. I'm gonna go click save. 
And output file, I'm actually going to overwrite the original because I don't need it anymore. And this is very important if you're doing personalized products. You want to save it as an editable design, so always check that. So now with that being said, let's go ahead and click Save. And yes, overwrite all files. And it takes a second here to kind of set that job up in the queue. And now you can see it's processing all 10 jobs. So it should overwrite this original. And now it's an editable design, meaning we can edit that text layer on the order itself when it comes in. But you can preview here, everything looks really good. So just to show you, you have this little icon when you create an editable design. I can pull up any of these individually and you can edit these. So that's really, really cool. Now with that being said, the next step is to probably generate mock-ups. We already know we're gonna sell these as personalized mugs. We're gonna use the 11 ounce white mug because it's a black design, so it'll be perfect. So I have 10 of these selected. I'm gonna go ahead and actually generate mock-ups real quick. So go create image mock-ups. Let's change this to drinkware. And uh, we're gonna type 11 ounce for the 11 ounce mug. You can see there's a few up here that look good. I'm gonna turn this advanced option on. It's only available for Pro and Pro Plus, Pro Plus users but it's phenomenal because you can select up to 10 different mockups to generate at one time. So I'm gonna select this one, and you can see the input files that file we created, which is perfect. We'll select this one, this one as well. This one actually has a background color selector, so I'm just gonna make that the same color of blue that we got going on here. So we'll do that, and maybe we'll select this one as well. So that's four, oh, we'll do this too. That way we have kind of a one-sided print where you can see just that mockup a little more close up. But that should do it. So you can see right here, I have all these mock-ups selected. This one actually has a background color too. So we'll go with the same background color that it has there. You see this, we have, what is it? Six different mock-ups selected. This is phenomenal. This one I do not want, obviously. So I'm gonna exit that because that was automatically selected. So now we're good to go. I can just click generate mock-ups and I click generate mock-ups to confirm. You can see right here, we're generating over 50 mug mock-ups right now. And we'll do that in literally 20, 30 seconds and it's gonna put it in these different file slots here, which we can then select during the publishing process to use as our mockups. So we'll let that finish up real quick. All right, so that is already done. So let's go ahead and preview these just to see how they look. I could double click on a file slot like this to make it active across the entire collection. So as you can see here, these look great. Uh, let's go and check each of these out real quick. Yeah, these look pretty good. Um, there's another option. This is great. And again, this last one here, your text here. This one looks really good. All right, so in that case, now we've literally got the file that's personalizable right inside my designs when an order comes in. We have the mockups generated. The next step is to get the listing data. We need titles, we need descriptions and tags, and this is normally a very time consuming process. But I want to show you something we just rolled out. It's a new feature called Vision AI. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm going to select all 10 of these. And all we got to do is feed Vision AI a print file. So in this case, this file here. And it will scan the file. It'll analyze the text within it, etc. And basically write optimized, highly optimized listings for Etsy. So titles, descriptions, and tags. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to click Vision AI here. Make sure the right input file is selected, which is our print file. I want to change the uh, product type to mug. I'm gonna make sure I generate title, so I'll leave that selected. I can choose a different field to put it in, but of course, I wanna put that in the title field. I wanna generate a description, put it in the description field, and of course, generate tags and put those in the tags field. Now, one other thing I'm gonna include is product features, which will basically be that exact you know ceramic mug that we're gonna sell, the 11 ounce uh, white ceramic mug. I'm gonna go ahead and find that in here, white mug 11 ounce, this is it. And that way it adds those product details to the end of the description for this particular product. Now I'm gonna click generate listing data and hit yes, run Vision AI. You can see that it is now analyzing all 10 of these designs and it should write some pretty well, like quite well optimized listings for Etsy. You'll see here in just a second. So we've got a few more listings in the queue. And that is done. So let's take a look at this real quick just to see how these look. So the title here, custom monogram coffee mug, elegant floral A letter design personalized text ceramic cup. It's a phenomenal title. Uh, monogram mug, custom coffee cup, personalized mug, floral monogram, because it has the floral design here. Uh, initial A mug, elegant ceramic cup, gift for her, custom office mug, unique mug design, elegant coffee cup, stylish tea mug, monogram A design. You can see it's getting the A and a few different keywords here with the tags, office mug gift, that's great. And uh, real quick on the description, we'll just check this out. Let me make this a bit bigger. 
All right, so start your morning with this beautifully designed monogram mug featuring a floral inspired letter A personalized mug to make it uniquely yours or give it as a special gift. Made with high quality ceramic, it's perfect for your favorite hot beverages. Add a touch of elegance to your daily routine or workspace with this classic yet modern mug design. And of course, product features, you can see the brand of the blank mug, the fabrication, the size, the micro it's microwave safe, it's dishwasher safe. It says all the key features there. This is uh, absolutely phenomenal. We did it for 10 listings. Now, if you're on our Pro and Pro Plus plans, you can use Vision AI. It's a premium feature. If you're on the Pro plan, you can generate up to 48 listing. Uh, you can generate data for up to 48 listings at once. If you're on Pro Plus, you can generate for up to 120 at once, which is absolutely insane. Uh, so let's move forward. I'm going to check out a few more of these. Elegant monogram coffee mug, custom initial letter B. You can see it's getting that B perfectly. Personalized text gift, floral design mug for tea, unique coffee cup. If you look at these titles, again, initial B present. Letter B cup, it's uh, these are great. Now you can always adjust these too. Like I say, the a, this Vision AI will get you 80, 90%, in some cases like 95% of the way done with your listings in terms of your titles, descriptions, and tags. But you can always go and add your own expertise, your own your own tags, your own keywords to these. This is just to help you get this done a lot quicker. Uh, let's move forward. Now customizable monogram coffee mug, elegant initial letter C with floral design, personalized text option, unique gift idea. And again, you got floral letter C. It's got it all here. This is really, really cool. Elegant monogram, D coffee mug, her personalized initial letter, floral design. You can see everything's unique. It's different. Custom initial E monogram coffee mug. It's uh, Everything's here, but you can see that it's getting everything super accurately. This is a very powerful feature. So I highly suggest you try it out. And I'm just going to go with the data here. Everything looks pretty good for me from just this first perspective. Normally, I take a little bit longer analyzing things. But for the sake of keeping this video shorter... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and publish these. So we're ready. We got mockups, we got our design that's personalizable, and uh, we got the text, all the data. So let's go publish listings. Again, I have all 10 of these selected. Let's go products because we're publishing these as print on demand mugs. You can see my title, descriptions, and tags are all mapped. Now I'm going to go to Etsy. We'll select our demo store here. Let's just go ahead and search mug for the category. Select the mugs and go to pick product. Let's go to 11 ounce, white 11 ounce mug, Swift POD here. Select that. Should take just a second. Now you always want to double check the print file here to make sure everything's aligned properly. It's generating a preview because that's what our, our system does here. So you can see that yeah, this is this is perfect. You can, again, you can see all the listings here, all ten of them. So everything looks good. I can just exit that. If it doesn't look good, you can make changes right there to the positioning, etc. And this is just a preview. I don't need that because I already generated these mockups ahead of time. So I'm going to select the mockups we generate ahead of time, and then just unselect this mockup here. Uh, by clicking this, do not generate previews. I guess it's not going to let me do that, but that is fine. We don't need to do that because we already have it. I guess it did deselect it. I just have this one selected here. So let's move maybe this one to the front, or actually maybe we'll go here. Do this so you can move these around however you see fit, and I think that'll do. So this will be our primary mockup, secondary mockup, and so forth. So in this case, we're ready to go to the next step. Um, you could, if you're on a Pro and Pro Plus plan, you can actually add like a 15 ounce mug, make some changes. But I'm going to keep this simple. Let's go choose pricing, and now I'm going to do this in bulk. So if you come over to the left hand menu here, you can actually edit the pricing for all 10 of these in bulk. And if you click up here, you see this little dot. You can rotate through each of these listings, or just click it to see all the listings. And the reason I have this exclamation mark this morning is because the prices there's no price yet. So let's go back to the first listing and we're gonna go just for this mug, we'll go like $24.98 and click apply. Again, it's personalized. So I think that should do. That again applied it to all of these. If I rotate through this, you can see the prices there. Now I'm gonna go preview publish info. You get a, the, you get a preview of the primary mock-up along with your print file here. Again, your, like your title, the price, your description, product features, and the tags. And now over here on the right side, you got publish information, obviously the Etsy platform. We're using our demo shop on Etsy. You can change this to a member of my shop or another company or person, but I don't have this set up on the demo shop, which is what I do recommend. And then you choose Swift POD in this case. But for now, I'll just go back to I did. And now you can see the sizes, colors. So you can just preview everything to make sure it looks good before you go publish these in bulk. Now, the really most important part of this, because this is a personalized listing, this little personalization checkbox, you want to click that. And now you can just say enter a name or custom text example uh, let's just go Jake um, that'll work 
So of course you could go into more detail here, but this is what the customer will see on Etsy. Kind of gives them an example of where they're going to enter the text. So it says your text here, obviously on the design, that's what you're going to replace when you personalize this product. But uh, I'd also su suggest uh, checking personalization is required. Once that's done, you can literally just click publish. My designs will create all those listings on Etsy. They'll go into the draft folder and it doesn't take very long at all. Then we'll go over and publish those on Etsy just to show you the full process. Then I'll go over to an order on our orders page. It's not these mugs, but it's an ornament that kind of show you how the personalization process works. So you can see those are already published to Etsy. So let's go ahead and go to this Etsy shop. This is our demo shop. Let me refresh this. And you can see Giraffes here has all 10 of these. So again, that primary mock-ups there. Let's just open one of these up. Take a look. So you can see we got all the other mock-ups here. This is great. Got your description. Um, yeah, right here, your personalization, the instruction for the buyers, the personalization text. Uh, your pricing and all that's right down here. 11 ounce white mug. You got the SKU from my designs, the pricing, the quantity. Physical item, obviously the categories here. And the mugs, or the tags. And the shipping profile, it's all set up. Now, this is good to go. So what I can do, I just wanted to show you a preview of one of these. You can see all 10 of those, how quickly you publish those, and their personalized designs and products. So I'm going to go publish. Click publish. And now those are live on our Etsy shop. So let's just refresh this real quick. And we can just pull one of these up and take a look at it. Here we go. So here's an example of this mug. Got the title here. Add your personalization, enter a name or custom text, example Jake. So that could go here, but this is for an A. So you can do whatever you want here, like the customer could buy it, give you the text, and then when they do that, let's say they add the cart and purchase it, you'll go over to the orders page on my designs. And this is an ornament again, so I'm gonna click on this order. It's an example order I set up earlier. It's an ornament, but it's the same process. So if it's the mugs, you would open up the order here, and you can see this little personalized button, and you can also see the personalization request from the customer here. So let's go click personalize. It'll open that up into the new canvas editor here in my designs. And again, all those different text layers. So if it was that mug with the monograms, you'd just be able to open that up. You would see the personalization request here. You can click this down. You could grab that name. In this case, it would be Adeline's. That's what the customer put in on Etsy for this particular order. And we could just click overwrite. And if you give that a second, you see it's loading, it's replacing. It's creating the new print file. It's perfectly optimized for the product. It's gonna generate a mock-up preview so you can make sure it looks good. And if everything looks good, you just click approve order. And uh, that's all you do. So I'm going to click this so you can see the mock-up. You see Adeline's, it's perfect. So, and you can also open up the print file to view it. Now, again, this is for an ornament, different product, but it's the same concept. That's how our personalization works at my designs. So once you're at this point, you make the personalization changes, you literally click approve, it's done. Uh, that's, that's how easy it is to create personalized products in bulk with my designs. That's what I wanted to show you in today's video. It kind of drug, just kind of drug out for a while. Uh, if it's too long, let me know. I'm going to start to tailor my content more for what you guys want to see. There's just so many possibilities of my designs that I'm trying to think about all the different like ways I can break these down into this shorter concepts and videos to help you maximize the value of what you can do with my designs. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you have questions, suggestions, comments, let me know below. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.